Hello friends, this is Kamal Hassan Bhakti. I am going to talk about Henry Gibson's Adult's House. This is a feminist text. I am going to discuss about the central character Torvald Helmer. Let's see the role of Torvald Helmer. He is a lawyer by profession appointed as a bank manager he is the husband of Nora friend of Dr. Rang Crockestad is his colleague as this is a feminist state he is a representative of patriarchal society now we will try to discover him as a husband, as a father, as a house father, social being and a character. Turbo Helmer as a husband. Now let's see how he is as a husband. From Act 3 we can say that Nora comments I have never understood you till tonight. So they married eight years ago and they are staying together. They still can understand each other. He treats her as his property. He never listened to her feelings. So we can say that their conjugal life is not happy at all. So we will consider him as a husband, he is totally failure. Now let's see his role as a father. Torbe Helmer possesses three sons. Their name is Ever, Bob and Amy. He is very much careful to his children. From Act 3, I mentioned a quotation where he speaks to Nora, but the children cannot be left in your care. He is a moralist person, so he wants to make his children like him. Now, let's go to another slide. In this slide, he will be considered as a house father let's see his role as a social being Helmer is parsimonious from act 3 we can see that no debt no borrowing he dislike debt and borrowing but he is not a miser he gives money to Nora and he is very careful person. He forbids Nora to take macaron, which will spoil her teeth. Now, let's see Turbo Helmer as a social being. Turbo Helmer is positive to his wife. He is moralist in nature. He is patronizing in manner. He is a passionate lover. He is petty minded. He suffers by superiority complex. But he is also helpful. Now let's see how he is as a character or how he has been used as an instrument by the writer here we can see two quotation one is by David Thomas and another is Ronald Gray Ronald Gray says that Helmer's fault are too exaggerated to be fruitful and David Thomas says that Torval is as much a victim as Nora 
So we can say that though he is a representative of patriarchal society, he represents the social norms and values and the social condition of his time particularly. But he possesses excessive pride and false ego. That's for my part today. Thank you for watching the videos.